The SVG line element is used to draw lines inside of SVG images. And if you look in the editor here on, on the left, I have an example SVG line element. As you can see, the line element has an x1 um, and y1 attribute, which defines the start point of the line, and an x2 and a an y2 attribute, which defines the end point of the line. And if you look in the browser here on the right, you can see that I have a line going from 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 x10 y10 to x200 y100 here. You can also see that I've defined a stroke color of red and no filling. I mean, since the line is one-dimensional, it doesn't really make sense to have a fill color. But I can make the stroke wider using the stroke width attribute like this. Now I set it to 5. Now see what happens over here in the browser. You can see now the stroke is wider. I can also make the stroke dashed using the stroke dash array. I make a dash of 10 and a space of 5 like this. Now the line is dashed. And if I want more space between the dashes, I can increase the space part of the stroke dash rate definition and now there's more space in between. I can also make a line transparent, uh, make the stroke transparent. Uh, let me first make this line fully um, uh, non-dashed and then I will create a, a second line. Here I will change the color to blue. I will make it go from x equal 100 and y 10 and then I will have it go back to x equals 20 and y equals 100. Let's have a look at this line. You can see it's nicely crossing over here in the browser and you can see that the blue line is drawn on top of the red line. And to make this transparent, make the blue line transparent, I have to use the stroke opacity style attribute and I set it to 0 0.5 like this and then when you look here in the browser you can see that the second line, the blue line, is now semi-transparent and you can see the red line through it. That's pretty much what you can do with the line element.